of this difficult SAT question with me in 30 seconds. Let's get started in 3, 2, 1, let's go. So I have two equations, systems of equations, R is a constant, no solution, what is the value of R? So instantly I realize that I need to match my slopes. So all I'm doing is this, and I got my answer, just like that, less than 15 seconds. And you're probably staring at this and going, how do you know how to do that? Well, I want you to understand what it means to have no solution. No solution, in this case, means no intersection. So for instance, right, this would be parallel lines and they never touch, therefore they have no solution. So what we're really trying to do is make these two equations parallel lines. And how does that happen? When you have the same slope, right? So two is our slope here, if two is our slope here, then they're parallel lines because they have different y-intercepts. If they had the same y-intercept, then they'd be the same line. So we wanna make sure they have the same slope and different y-intercepts. But in this case, we only have to focus on the slopes and you will see why. This is actually a specific question type. So we want to combine like terms because we want to isolate y on one side so we can solve our, for our slope. Because 48x is not our final slope because y has a coefficient. So it'll be 48 over 102. How did I get 102? Because you add 72 to both sides and then you divide by 102 because we want to isolate for y in our linear function y equals mx plus b, right? y is always alone. It doesn't have a coefficient in slope intercept form. So that's our first slope. Now, if you look at the second one, we have ry equals 1 6 minus 16x. So our slope is, this is written in r, ry equals b plus mx, where this is our slope, but we need to divide it by r to get our actual slope, and then b is our y intercept. So we're really just doing negative 16 divided by r. And instead of doing the math by hand, we could tell Desmos to do it for us, and we get our answer negative 34. And if you want to fact check your work, you could always graph it to make sure that they are in fact parallel lines, right? So let's take a look. And if you zoom out, it looks like they're the same line, right? Which is why it's important you don't do these types of questions with sliders. I know a lot of students like doing that. I really wouldn't recommend it unless they tell you it's an integer. And make sure you zoom in and check your work. These are actually parallel, but if I zoom out, they look at like the same line. So make sure you zoom in. And there you go. This one was actually solved in 15 seconds. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this today's daily problem. As always, happy studying.